What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be testing out a product called the Hairway Pop-Up Mobile External DVD Drive. So a lot of laptops don't come with DVD or optical drives nowadays. I bought this on Amazon. It was like $20. I'll um, put a link to it in the description so you can see it. But I'm going to simply be determining if this really works. Like is this just some crappy product that they want to make us think we need or is this something that I can actually see working but um yep it just pulled out here this plastic packaging so we got this plastic right here uh, I don't think there's anything else in the box no there is not this is the box the front and the back it works with all operating systems so it can work with USB 3.0 or 2.0 and here we have the instruction manual. So here is the actual drive. Looks like it's covered in plastic for some extra protection, which we can then just use to pull out of here. So external optical disk drive and HDD hard drive. Div oh, is it a hard drive too? Is that what the HDD means? There's our USB port and there oh not hairway it's hayway or highway how do you pronounce that i don't know there's the button to insert the cd so i have some usb ports over here my and the software that i'm going to use to be testing is this gaming mouse this red dragon cobra gaming mouse software and the software in order to calibrate the mouse came in this dv came in this dvd i want to just see if it'll work so it sits pretty much flat on the table like this so there's the button where the it'll pop out so that should work and then it I guess it doesn't actually recognize it until I put in a disc oh it did here I have the CD now it's a miniature sized CD but it should still fit like you can see it's not an actual so this is the software I mean I don't know what they thought you people were gonna have but so this button should supposedly oh here we go I see so then it comes out like that now I should just be able to put this in okay so this fits in and um there we go now let's see ultimate test is this going to work so I put it in, I put the disc in, but nothing's coming up. Oh, oh, here we go. Hey, it's working. Okay, so choose what happens. I'm just gonna have it. Um, yeah, let's just have it run the setup.exe. Now I have the software installed already, so it might find that out, but I wanna see if I can actually get this to work. Hey, look at that, because it was kind of tricky online. I had to download a zip file extractor because it was an RAR file and there's no built-in Windows tool for that. So I had to figure out how to get that RAR file unzipped so I could get to the EXE file. But it looks like if I can just use it with the disk, then this should work. So it just loaded the EXE file and I'm guessing that we're not gonna really, wow, that was quick. I'm guessing that it just should work. Oh my gosh, wow. That worked really well. Now, it probably did it so fast because I already have it installed, but the point is that it worked. And this is how I customize what my mouse buttons do. And, um, like, I've already have it set to um, change the color when I do it like that. And my volume to do that. Volume up, volume down. Now, I've already set that. But it looks like that worked perfectly fine. Now, what I bet I could do is then make a open the folder copy all the files and then paste them onto my PC so that that way I wouldn't have to insert the disk every time I wanted to do that so you know what? let's see if that works okay so I opened up my file Explorer and you can see here it added the um, DVD ROM drive and um, so basically what I'm gonna try to do here is these are the only files that were actually on that CD so what I'm gonna do is copy them copy all of them then I'm gonna go somewhere, let's just go into documents just for just to make it work quickly. And then I wanna go ahead and paste those files. Hopefully it should work without the actual disk. 
So now what I'm going to do is you should always click eject here before you actually just rip the disc out because you could lose information that way or damage the disc. So you should always right click and click eject and then you'll get a message when it's safe and then look at that. It did that automatically. So overall guys, I am really impressed. This works really freaking well. Sorry for my language. Um, we can unplug this now. And now that there's absolutely nothing in the computer, let's see if I was able to actually copy those files over so to my documents and let's see if they work, if I can run this setup. Hey, look at that. Oh, I, oh, it just found that it's running. So if I actually uninstalled it, then I could. So yeah, that's not actually a problem. That's what's supposed to happen. But overall guys, yes, this product, this Heyway optical disc, hard drive this is not crappy this is an actual legit product if you have DVDs that you need to like work or whatever with Windows with um, a computer that doesn't have an optical disk drive I'm telling you this is your answer I will certainly put a link to the Amazon page where you can buy it um, it shipped in like two days with Prime so anyway guys I hope you found this video helpful um, thank you for watching my channel. Let me know what kind of videos you want me to do because you know I want to do what um, oh look and the program is still installed even without the DVD so we're all good. So let me know what type of videos that you guys want me to do. I'm really interested in your suggestions so please um, you may have been noticing that I've been um, harding and pinning comments a lot more lately. So if you guys want to be featured, just let me know. I'm totally open to stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.